So the S22 series and the Tab SA series have just been announced, and I want to talk about them real quick, give you my thoughts on them. If you came to see the actual products, I don't have them, so go check out someone else's video, maybe in KBHD. Um, but otherwise, let's get right into it. So first, let's talk about the tablets. So the Tab S8 series, this doesn't look like a huge upgrade coming from the Tab S7. So they didn't really talk about it much, but on paper, it looked like it's just getting a new uh, processor, uh, two more gigabytes of RAM, improved latency in the S Pen when it comes to the S8 Plus. And honestly, that's pretty much it. Oh, and you're also getting, this one I think is probably the biggest one, the biggest reason why you should consider upgrading the OS updates. So you're gonna get four years of OS updates compared to the Tab S7, which was only promised three years. So what does that mean? That by 2023, you should be getting your last update, like major update for the Tab S7 Plus. You'll still be getting more security updates, but as far as like major OS updates, I think it should be 2023 because it came out in 2020, three years later, 2023. So it's right around the corner, honestly. So that's something to consider. If you're gonna be getting or keeping your Tab S7 Plus or S7, you're gonna run out of time when it comes to OS updates. With the S8, you should be good till 2026, four years later. So if you can upgrade, I think that's the main enticing reason why you should. If you can get a good trading credit, definitely consider upgrading just so you can get those OS updates for future, you know, for the future, basically. And you're also getting two gigabytes of RAM and a better processor. So I definitely think that's the main reason why you should upgrade because everything else is pretty much the same, same design, similar screen, nothing crazy, nothing new, similar cameras, like nothing out of the ordinary. So as far as those base models, S8 and S8 Plus, you're not getting a huge upgrade. Just that OS update is the only thing that's enticing me or what's making me consider potentially convincing people to upgrade. But the S8 Ultra, this is where newer stuff comes in. So it's a new tablet. It's a much bigger tablet now. It's 14.6 inches compared to like the Tab S7 slash S8 Plus, which are 12.4 inches. This thing is massive. It looks huge in the presentation. Pretty much a laptop in my opinion. So I guess that's what they're aiming for, right? To replace your laptop because they talked about multitasking, presenting presentations on it and all this new stuff. Like it pretty much is supposed to be like your laptop essentially because you have Samsung Dex available. You can use in tablet mode, you can multitask, you can window open stuff, windows up and all that kind of stuff. You know what I mean? So I guess that's what they're aiming for. So if you're going to get the SA Ultra, it should be pretty much your laptop. So for me, if you know, if you've watched my videos, I don't necessarily use my Tab S7 Plus as my laptop replacement. I just can't get hooked to Samsung Dex. I much prefer to use Windows and the reason I, I stuck with my laptop and not the S7 Plus because I, I couldn't video edit, I couldn't code on there for school. Only thing I used my tablet for was for note taking, which they talked about a lot about Samsung Notes and I will agree, Samsung Notes is a phenomenal app, I love it. Um, but yeah, that's the only reason why I don't know if I'm get a benefit from the SA Ultra. So you have to think about whether or not, or what you're gonna be using your tablet for. And if you're gonna be using it for a lot of replacement, the SA Ultra seems like a better buy versus the SA or SA Plus. But um, I don't know, I think I'm gonna try it out. I'm gonna see if it's really worth going from the 12.4 inch display to a 14.6 inch display. And that notch, I know the design is otherwise similar, but that has a notch now. It's for the dual cameras now, ultra wide and the wide. So it's used for auto framing. So it's basically when you're on, on like a webcam chat, video call it'll auto frame so basically you're in frame right and then if someone else comes in you know they're all it auto frames so that they're both in the center so yeah i, I don't know if i want to use that i don't really use my tablet for webcams or web chats or web calls or whatever so yeah i don't think i'm gonna benefit from that so is it worth having a notch for that very reason no for me personally no uh, but it all depends on if you're going to use it or not so I'm gonna try it out. I'm gonna tab try the Tab S8 Plus or S8 Ultra, I mean, and see how it goes. I also like the new book cover keyboard. It's backlit now. It looks like an actual laptop when you have it connected. It looks very nice, so I'm excited to try that out as well. Same with the S Pen, improved latency, so hopefully that's also pretty nice as well. Um, but otherwise, you know, I'm excited to try it out. And as far as the pricing, the S8, I think just the base model is $699. S8 Plus is $799, and then the S8 Ultra, 10.99. Ooh, that's a lot of money. But there's also trading offers. There's also the credit that you can use. So if you buy the S20 Ultra and the Tab S8 Ultra together, you get like a 25% discount on the S8 Ultra and then you use your credit towards that. So it brings down to like $500. I don't know. You can definitely get it lower than the 10.99 asking price and probably the same thing with the S8 and S8 Plus. 
So you can work around it. Hopefully you can get it cheaper, but they did increase the price a little bit from last year or not last year, but the S7 series, I believe it was like a $50 increase. Um, and now you're getting that extra gig of RAM or extra RAM and stuff like that. So I guess it's kind of justifiable, but um, yeah, it's not a huge price increase, but the SA Ultra is, uh, wow, a thousand dollars for a tablet. We're talking pretty much iPad Pro level, right? I think, I don't really know, but um, yeah, I'm definitely excited to try them out. So personally me, I'll actually I'll let you guys know at the end what I'm all getting. So yeah, let's move on to the phones now. So now the S22 series. So there's the S22, S22 Plus, and S22 Ultra. The S22 and S22 Plus seem similar to the Tab S8 and S8 Plus. Small upgrades from last year, but that doesn't mean that it's a bad phone at all. It definitely, S21 series phones were pretty good already. So they didn't have a lot to improve on. They did talk about like the new camera improvements. So larger sensors means better light, uh, night photography, um, improved, I'll say that's pretty much it. Like they all, all they talked about was like the light photography, how it improved, bringing more light in. Um, but otherwise pretty much the same design, boxy design now, it's actually a little bit more boxy. It looks like um, the frame looks like it's not attached to the actual camera bump anymore at least i'm pretty sure i could be wrong but uh doesn't look like a huge difference a huge upgrade but you're getting a new processor same amount of ram same amount of storage and the same starting price which is very nice i was ex i was expecting them to increase the price a bit but they didn't so i think that's great um so this means that if you have an s21 i guess you can upgrade i really wouldn't say you need to upgrade or even I don't know why you would consider upgrading, to be honest. I think you're fine with the S21, especially now that the S21 is also getting the four years uh, four years of upgrades or updates in uh, the OS as well. So that's great. S21 series, if you have that series, I think you're more than fine. I don't think you need to upgrade. If anything, maybe the S22 Ultra, if you want the pen and sign, if you're a pen user, but otherwise the S22 from the S21 is not a huge difference, but it's great that they're getting four years now from the S21 forward, so that's great. But um, otherwise, the only other thing that I noticed that I wanna talk about is for the all, 20, all the S22 series, the new collaborations with Snapchat. So this looks similar to the whole Pixel collaboration, so I always praise it when I talk about it. I just love that you can use the different lenses when you're on Snapchat, and you can do it on Instagram and TikTok as well now, which is great. So I think that's awesome. I like being able to use the actual camera versus using like a screen recording how it used to be, so it's awesome. I definitely like that a lot. So now the S22 Ultra. This is pretty much the note, the one, the phone that everyone wanted back and it's it's finally here. And actually I wanted a note back then. I When I first got my Tab S7 Plus, I was like, the next one I'm gonna get is a note. And it never came out. So I went with the S21 Ultra and then I got the Z Fold 3. Both could use pens, but it wasn't as nice because you couldn't store it anywhere. You had to use a case and I didn't like it, but now is my chance. Now is my chance to try out a note-like phone. It's basically a note. So. Yeah, I'm excited for it. So the pen's finally inside the uh, phone itself. It's got that note boxy design. They pretty much just took the name off of it and just made it the S22 Ultra, which is actually, I think what I might've mentioned in my one of my videos a long time ago, but I don't know. I just think it's a great design. I think I like it. I think the camera design, not as pretty as it was in the S21 Ultra, but I think this is good enough. I think it looks nice. It looks kind of flush. The cameras do stick out a little bit, but I think it's nice. I don't like though that the base model is eight gigabytes of RAM and 128 gigabytes of storage. I like that they kept the price the same, $1199. I know it's still a lot of money still, but why did you have to decrease the RAM amount? This, you could have kept it at 12, but luckily they're doing a nice gesture for your pre-order if you, on certain sites, um, you get a free storage upgrade. So basically you pay for the price of the 128 and you get the 256 gigabyte storage. So I feel like the 128, if you buy the 128 right now, you're an idiot, but that's nice of them to do that. So luckily they're doing that. So basically that's the model I'm gonna be getting, 256 gigabytes of storage and 12 gigabytes of RAM, cause that's definitely the model to get, no brainer. But um, otherwise you're obviously you're getting a new processor, the new improved display, it's gonna be brighter. So instead of it just getting brighter, it also you know adapts to what's on the screens to make the colors look more you know, realistic versus just over, you know, brightening the screen, which is great. And you're also getting all those camera upgrades. So you're still getting the space zoom. You're still getting the larger sensor stuff. Above, so night photography should be better. Um, you're also getting improved stabilization in the, in the video. So if you're into video, it'll be using OIS and VDIS. So that's a combination of both. It'll improve the stabilization in the video. It's uh, you're almost like using a gimbal at that point. So I don't know. I think it's going to be a decent upgrade for a lot of people just because there's a lot of note users that have been waiting off. There's a lot of 
older generation S series phones I've been waiting off. I definitely think this will be the upgrade most people will get just because if you're looking for that S Pen, they finally put it back inside. So yeah, I think this is gonna be a decent upgrade and I'm excited to check it out. One of the things that they talk about that I liked, four years of OS upgrades. So they're gonna be big on recycling now. Thank you for helping the environment, right? So not only are they recycling stuff for the actual phone parts, but also for the packaging and for you to keep your phone longer. So four years of OS updates. That's great. Four years of OS updates and five years of security updates. That's the way to go. I definitely think these Android phones have gotten so much better now that they can definitely, you know, stand the test of time. So I'm excited for that. I'm happy for that. So maybe this S22 Ultra will be the phone that I actually keep for a while now. So now what I'm pre-ordering. If I haven't made it obvious enough, I'm gonna get the S22 Ultra in the 12 gigabytes of RAM model, with the black colorway, and then I'm also gonna use the promo that they have. You get 25% off the Tab SA Ultra if you order them together. So I'm also getting the Tab SA Ultra as well. So all that, it's a lot of money, like $1,700, but the promos together, you save a ton of money. You can use like a Samsung or a Samsung education program. You know, you can bring it down to 1,700, which is pretty good. It's, I mean, it's still a lot of money, but we'll see. Uh, but the pre-ordering process, have you guys ever pre-ordered anything from Samsung? Uh, on, the pre on the launch date, it's just God awful. It's so frustrating. I haven't actually completed my pre-order yet. So I've been trying on my laptop over here, my tablet, and my desktop in the back, and also on the Samsung app on my Fold. Neither are working right now, so I'm actually pretty frustrated. I'm hoping they don't sell out or run out of stock on some of the things I'm trying to buy, so fingers crossed. But um, yeah, it's a frustrating mess when you're trying to pre-order on launch date or on announcement date of new Samsung devices. Uh, let me know if you guys have been trying or what your experience is with that as well, because it's such a pain. It's such a pain. I was so close. I got to the checkout. I put in my payment method. I put in my shipping. And then there was no continue button, no submit button. There was nothing. I couldn't continue. It was literally just stuck on this page. So I was like, mm, like so close and yet so far away. So hopefully I can get my pre-order in. Um, but otherwise, that's been it. Let me know what you guys want to know. What are your thoughts on the S8 series, on the S22 series? What do you guys think? Are you guys upgrading? Um, I also have an S10 Plus that I got from Amazon Renewed. So if I, you guys remember, I said that if I didn't want to bring the S21 Ultra to the channel for review, I would not have upgraded from the S10 Plus. So now this would have been my natural upgrade from the S10 Plus to the S22 Ultra. So I want to make a video on that, seeing how it's been from the S10 Plus to the S22 Ultra, because in my opinion, S10 Plus was such a good phone, but I'm getting ahead of myself. So that's been it. Let me know what you guys want to know in future videos. And uh, otherwise, that's been it. And peace.